time. We got some interview swag. Yeah, just put them on, listen to the swag music, get chill, you know. How's it going, man? <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah. How's your hand? Uh, not too bad. I mean, you know, I can't move my thumb, but. All right. So the stream wants to know, uh, what happened? What happened to your hand? How'd you uh, so I was longboarding to work and hit a sewer grate and got my shit rocked. Uh, <laughs> longboard stopped going. I kept going and broke my fall with my thumb. So. How long are you out? How long did you get away with that? Uh, probably another two weeks. I uh, actually just got titanium screws in it last week. So. That's, yeah, it's pretty fun. That sounds rough. So can you go through, like, airports with, like, titanium screws? Like, how does that work? Uh, yeah, I think so. It shouldn't be a problem with metal detector or MRI, but, uh, yeah, it's pretty interesting. I'm a cyborg now, so. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm sorry. Once I get used to my thumb back, <laughs> I'll, I'll have mad six skills. So how are you, how are you playing? Like, how do you move the... Naturally, you know, like the two thumbs. Yeah, so I was basically just like using these three fingers on the joystick and oh, man. kinda yeah, it's it's pretty awkward, but that sounds rough. Yeah. So uh there's this uh grip when you use like arcade sticks, like cup it like a wine glass. Oh yeah. I don't know if that would have helped, but have you thought about it? Maybe I never thought of that. Never thought of it? Alright. Yeah. Uh so we know you're a sixty four player, Smash sixty four, uh very uh, notable player in that scene. Um <laughs> So we're gonna have tournaments on that. Do um, you feel like your thumb is still gonna hinder you uh, for playing? Um, I mean, definitely. I'm not used to it, but hopefully, um, I'll be a lot more confident with uh, 64. A um, lot better of a player, more knowledgeable in the game. So um, hopefully, I should do a lot better there. Gotcha. Um, what else do we have? Are you disappointed in showing, even though you had a broken hand? I yeah, feel, I feel I mean, you did pretty well, though. Yeah, I, I mean, I wish I would have done a lot better, but I can't really expect much, um, especially because I think I played by far the least squad gym of anyone here. So, oh, yeah, that's uh, true. All these guys play all the time. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, just my best. All right. That's all I for. Well, we're really glad to have you. Are you going to come back next week? Definitely. Oh, yeah, that's what we'd like to hear. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was B. Smizzle, a.k.a. Broken Hands. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Alright, so we're gonna bring up uh, Holly Smith. Holly Smith. Oh, 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 Holly what? Holly Fred. Holly Fred. Holly Fred. You're Holly gonna remember it. Fred? Holly Fred. No, I should have just done uh, Who are you interviewing? Ricky Rombo? Yeah, Ricky Rombo. Yo, Ricky Rombo! Ricky. He knows you're gonna ask him. Oh, so it's all the Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Alright, who do we have in the chat right now? Oh, uh, Mario's still out of here. Asian man, good to see him. Asian Chinese? Asian Chinese? Asian Chinese? Come on over here and have a seat, bro. Do you need to stop and win. restart the recording, or did you do that? I already did that, yeah. Hello, all three. Don't break the salt shakers. Come on, read the salt. What is up here, dude? Feel better to. Put the headphones on and enjoy the swag and the music. Oh, hey, yeah. So, how do you think you did today? How would you rate your performance today? Uh, I wouldn't consider it watchable or consumable, but I am getting better so far. Uh, sort of do some more techy stuff towards the end there. Yeah, you, you really like the the duty from there. Yeah, I noticed you, you really love the projectile. Well, you see, I had to use it against David. He, his rolls, everything like that, I have no... I'm not going to keep it up with that. I recognize it from music. Anyway, <laughs> so... I had to, like, get projectiles out just to keep them at bay while I try to close in the gap. Mm -hmm. A lot of times I found myself too far away to like, go back out, but I had to play a team as like a mad person, so... Right. See, you came in third, and it was a smaller bracket today. We just had five. But how do you how do you think you've been improving over the course of the past few three or four weeks? Have you, have you noticed any improvement? I figured out short hopping. They haven't started. Nice. I mean, I don't know. We'll see. I uh, I definitely think the first week was a uh, partly due to the fact that many people haven't been playing play on Project M and were familiar with some of the problems. Interesting moves like his 
spike from the update and things like that. So, who knows, maybe next time around people will figure it out. And yeah. Get some more interesting games going. Nice. I mean, you consider probably better your main player, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, nice. So, how many, how many hours have you put in? Numerous hours. Numerous hours. I say I usually get home and either watch Arrested Development or play Smash. So I mean, I wouldn't complain about having that much. So yeah, I mean, you're gonna be in there. Oh yeah. Where do you want to see yourself at the end of the end of the summer? Do you want to be beating the new No, I don't think that's a. I, I, I think I'd rather see myself become more in control of my character. I don't want to say like I want to be so and so or so, so, but I'd say I'd say fine if I was like mid, like, right in the middle. But like as long as I I'm not getting that by getting little gimps here and there, which is what I've been doing recently, and actually getting control of the game, getting the game play. So. Are you gonna stick with City? I think there's no going back. I'm definitely gonna put a pocket character in there because there's some characters I hate going Right, yeah, you've always, you've always gotta have someone to whip out on those bad matchups. Definitely. I'm gonna try to learn Falco, but it's not going so well. Not so I'm um, down the character. Yeah, definitely. Alright, well, congrats on the third, and congrats on the improvement. That's great to see you every week. Thank you. And good luck over the next week. See you at work. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna get Kim Tendo back here on stream, and we're gonna bring out Noah, Grand Champion. So, Kim Tendo and Noah! Stand by. I got it. Japanese. Alright, here we go. Alright, here's the man with the plan. F, that was awful. I just fell. Alright, ignore that. So we got Crunch Bang Noah, your champion yet again. Um, hence the Crunch Bang tag. Let's talk about that first. So, uh,. You got picked up by Crunchbang Gaming. Uh, what led you to make that decision to take that sponsorship? Well, you know, uh, they're a pretty reputable uh, team, and I just uh, kind of thought that, you know, it would do well for my image uh, to join them. And honestly, you know, I'm, I'm honored to be a uh, part of the team. So, uh, honestly, just all those things together, it's just uh, it's a win-win for everyone. You hyped for that Crunchbang t-shirt? Oh, I definitely am. Uh, be going to all the tournaments wearing it, obviously. Uh, it, it's actually coming, and it looks uh, I nice. Nice. You, you'll see. It's like a $30 t-shirt. Whoa. It's baller. Well, you're, you're, I mean, you earned it, right? When you have sponsors, I mean, you can have nice things. Like yeah, exactly. This is why we, we can't nice have things. nice things. So another thing, though. Um, Crunch Bang Gaming is looking for another player to another pick up. player. And sponsor. So they know that you play Melee, primarily. Mm -hmm. They want to pick up a Project M player. Who do you feel would fill that position? Like, who was your biggest competition here today? Like, or at the last tournament, even, in Project Dev? Do you feel anyone is deserving of that sponsorship? Hmm. It's really hard to say because my own skill level in Project M primarily comes from being good at melee. Right, right. So it's hard for me to really judge, honestly, anyone that I've played against on the merits of playing Project M alone. There's definitely people, uh, both here today and back at the uh, last tournament, that uh, gave me some trouble. Uh, and, you know, I definitely had to try against them. But uh, I don't... There's definitely plenty of deserving people. Uh, did you miss <laughs> yeah, I didn't do that, no. That was him. <laughs> you put oh. Cam 10, though, but it's all good. It's all good. It's Sorry, it's awesome. <laughs> So, um, all right. I, I would just say keep your eye, you know, on the uh, on, on the following tournaments, you know, and just see who plays as well up there. Because eventually, you know, with my lack of playing Project M, someone's going to overtake me, and, you know, uh, 
more than likely they're going to be the person that you want to pick up for Project Right. That's we have Huddle opinion. Guy getting second, mm -hmm. uh, the first one. We have uh, Millhouse rising to second. Mm -hmm. Let's we'll see what he does next week. So I feel like he's going to get himself an interview next week. Like yeah. he's he's showing himself to Ike. Um, we've also got Ricky Rombo though. Yeah. Yeah. Ricky Rombo could be up there too. Is the know. league placing well? We'll see what happens. Um, also, the well. newcomers, we'd like to see newcomers come out, you know, mm -hmm. um, representing that Project M team. Might see some Smash 64. Let's talk about that next. Um, okay. If we pick up a Smash 64 tournament, do you see yourself playing that at all? We know that you played some at Kaufman, some Smash 64, but mm. it's not your main game. Like, you just played it with Pat, you know, for a little bit. Pat ended up winning. Um, he went in the grand finals with uh, Nick Brockman. You know? yep. uh, Nick Brockman will be at that tournament. Do you feel like you'll be able to compete with these top level uh, Smash 64 players? Honestly, I mean, I'm gonna jump him. I think the only reason <laughs> that I did uh, badly in that tournament, by which I mean I destroyed several people, but lost the pack ultimately, is because uh, the controllers for N64 are just so bad. They are pretty bad. And uh, I understand that everyone has that same handicap, but when you're not used to something like that, uh, it's definitely a huge detriment to you. So. I might enter if it was something like, uh, if we were to play on like VC, I could use a game controller, that would be pretty awesome. Uh, I definitely don't play it regularly at all, but I think I would put up a decent showing if I could use a uh, controller I'm more comfortable with. And not even just more comfortable with, a controller that's actually good and not <laughs> terrible. Fair, so, fair. Yeah. The only, I have a follow-up question to that. Do you feel that your uh, melee or um, project of tech skill will get like muddied? from like your muscle memory will be off because of playing uh, uh, the um, virtual console version of that. Mm -hmm. Because I felt when we were playing, I played a little bit and I, I couldn't switch back and forth comfortably. I was like, oh god, how do I play this game? I forgot. So do you well, think that would be an issue? I think I've played more melee than anyone else here by a, a lot. Oh yeah. So the muscle yeah. memory for that is pretty ingrained in me. The real uncomfortable thing is just picking up Project M at any point. It takes me quite a while to, uh, you know, kind of get back in the game and whatnot. Um, melee, it takes me a little bit to warm up, but it all comes back relatively quick. I never feel awkward. I just need to make sure my hands uh, remember everything that they know or knew, whatever. Gotcha. Well, that's enough about Smash 64. Uh, 30 FPS kisses to death. Um, let's talk about the actual tournament. So, you didn't win, or didn't lose a single game. You didn't lose a single set. You pulled out some four stocks. Uh, we didn't see that last tournament. Uh, what happened? What? Can you explain that? What? Why is, why is well, it showing so much different? So, so far in Project M, you saw me play Wolf once, and I got just... I mean, I guess it was a close game, but honestly, I played really terribly. And that's because all of those Brawl characters, I don't really have any familiarity with them. So I just play characters that I have known from Melee. And that's, like I said earlier, that's kind of what's carrying me so far in these game tournaments. And someone will eventually get better than me. But, uh... I played Mario last time, and he's easily the worst character that I, like, technically play in uh, the other one. But Mark, I would consider him my second or third best character in, uh in melee so he's a lot more comfortable and even though he feels weird in here uh he's definitely got some you know easy combos especially uh if people aren't DIing. and heck i even have trouble DIing out of his combo sometimes so uh i would just say his melee character uh much better character than, wow. I, used to play okay. than I played last time so um and winners finals and grand finals you absolutely just insane combos with both Falcon and Marth, but mainly Grand Finals. That was probably the fastest Grand Finals I've ever seen. And Milhouse is a very strong player in TM. He's played high both tournaments. So he's not bad. What Can you explain how you ended it so quickly? It was like five minutes and we were done with Grand Finals. Honestly, uh, it's just because um, I finally figured out a, a better way to guard I, I think I was just trying to, you know, sit too close to the ledge and be really impatient, but if you just kind of wait, especially with someone like Marth, you can just tipper him as he comes up to grab the ledge, and that's that's just it, really. So, uh, I think Ike is pretty strong. He does a lot of damage and stuff. He is slow, except for, like, his, like, dash, you know, side B grabs and whatnot. Uh, but... 
I have to revise what I was thinking before about how it was impossible to let Jared in because it is really easy to let Jared in, at least in my experience so far. And I know Shane has all those well drummed chicks and whatnot. So yeah. I would just say most of it was just a game of, you know, knowing how to kill him. Uh, it wasn't really that much of an outplaying. There wasn't too much neutral game. It was just as soon as he got off the ledge, it was hard for him to get back because of Mark's range and ease to edge it. Gotcha. Well, you do a fantastic job as always. Uh, there's no Luis this week. We're sad. Yeah, we no it. turnips to be pulled. No bombs. No stitches. Yeah. No swords. No Saturn. He's not really a PM player though. He's, he's more of a melee guy. I don't know that he would even want to get into PM. That's but understandable. Hopefully next time we'll have some melee. That would be nice. And we'll have our uh, shout outs to B.E., uh, Cardinal fan, Huddle guy, Huddle dude, Huddle bro, Huddle kid, I don't know what his name is. Brian Clymer, that's who we're talking about. Mm -hmm. And Jordan Degner, uh, they'll be back. Uh, hopefully, Jordan Degner will PM for us. Not PM, what is the word? TO. Yeah, and uh, help officiate with Michael and get this like coordinated better so we can go faster and get more turns. Yeah, that'd going. be nice. So, we'll, we'll be happy to have him back. Um, you excited for next week? I am excited for next week. It's good to see uh, all my bros, uh, like you and Michael, who I don't see on a regular basis. I mean, heck, I don't even see like Shane that often, but right. it's just uh, it's just yeah. nice to see uh, people that, especially during the summer, I don't uh, have time or the distance or whatever, I don't connect with that often. And uh, you know, make some new friends too with new people coming. So yeah, I'm looking forward to next week. Excellent. All right. Well, thanks, Rudy. I think we're going to pop in two more interviews because we have such a small showing and we want to show appreciation. Yeah. We're going to have uh, Holly Grass come over, interview Millhouse, and then I'll interview uh, V. What was his handle again? I, I suck with handles. Uh, uh, I suck. V. V. Tool. V. Tool. So I'm going to interview V. Tool about his uh, first experience here in the Smash Chat. So see how he likes it. All right. They will pop off. Good Everyone will feel welcome. You know this is what we do. This is our job, man. We got this. And to Michael or Holly Frass. Holly Frass. Holly Frass. Holly Frass. Holly Frass. All right. Later. Later, nerd. All right. Uh, Millhouse. Come get your interview. Mm. So I want you to. Uh, So yeah, you you did you did well tonight. I almost died. After you came out with a strong second. Um, tell me about that grand final though. How did you know, that go? That's the side of shit. That's the I, honestly, I don't bullshit. feel terribly about the way I played. I, I, uh, I played a lot of Ike, uh, mostly against like computers. Mm -hmm. So a lot of today was kind of learning matchups and stuff. Uh, Grand Finals are that I really don't like the Marvel matchup very much. Uh, it, it's tough. <laughs> So yeah, you, you mentioned that you, you play a lot of Ike. Uh, are you enjoying that character? Is that yeah. you feel comfortable? Like, is that your strong main that you like sticking with? Yeah, I, I really like uh, I like Ike. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I like his, his movement options a lot. Uh, and he, he just feels like a really interesting character. I'm not entirely sure how good he is. But I've like, never shot him before. Right. Yeah. So yeah, I'll probably continue to main I'm also working, uh, working on my life because uh, I actually can't uh, revise the character. Uh, and I, because I played like, in like, the melee, it was pretty easy to pick up. Did you come from more of a, a, a melee background as, as opposed to B-word? Yeah, when, <laughs> yeah, when, when Project M came out by that point, I mean, I had been playing melee since 2000. Uh, I mean, I only had the, the game so. Nice. So you can, do you now consider Project M your main? And 
Not really. I, I enjoy Project yeah. M quite a bit. I, after after yeah, so yeah. long of playing Melee, it's mm -hmm. refreshing to have all the new characters mm -hmm. kind of right. in the style. Uh, so I really enjoy pro playing Project M. Uh, like I said, I played against a lot of people when I first started. Right. No one was playing with me. Uh, but I'm glad you played Dark Souls. Yeah. So you've been you've done better. You did better today than you have done in the previous weeks. Um, do you see yourself continuing to improve over the next few weeks that we keep doing these two games? And where would you want to see yourself towards the end of the summer? Uh, I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> I hope so. No one wants to not improve. Uh, well, we need to get Brian to be set up. <laughs> so I hope I can actually practice this game. Yeah, I haven't played a Project M since the last week, only the one screen. Uh, and if that's all the practice I get, then no, I don't see myself getting a whole lot better. But I like the practice. I know Jordan was too, so we just gotta. Yeah. Is there any sort of measure of where you would like to be at the end of the summer? Say, so like, you know, you feel comfortable with more characters, or you can consistently be so and so. I, I would. I'd like to do better, you know. I'd like to actually get a more run first. Yeah. It's only because I have no one good enough for right. important for him. But. I, I, I mean, I'd like to do better again. I do fairly well against no. Melee, so I'd like to get at least up to that point. Right. So, next week, rumors of rumors for Smash 64. You in? Yeah, I'll, I mean, I'll play. I don't know who I am. Probably try to play United Snaps or Oh, 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 Tournament. Yeah, yeah. I played for Yeah, that's a lot of fun. So, I guess, any last thoughts on yeah, yeah, yeah. how you did today? Well, like I said, I thought I did. I like to tell you and you have all the time. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah, Fear Hedge. Yeah, Fear Hedge, there we go. Yeah, we're glad you're here. It's a lot of fun. Nice. Well, we'll see you next week. Hopefully, you can get some practice time between now and then. <laughs> yeah, Congrats on today. Congrats well, on the improvement. And we'll see you again, maybe in grand finals again next week. Hope so. Nice job. Thank you, Mike. All right. We will get Kim Tim back on the street. With V-Tool. With V-Tool. V -tool. One of the newest newcomers to oh, this Smash Show. Oh, 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 I'm going to try my hand at that. Cam Tim. 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 Cam I think that was thunder. Nah, that was indeed thunder. thunder. You're going to be sleeping on my couch tonight. Alright, All we're going to get these over. Come on down. Whoa! My man. Have a seat. Slap on headphones, get chill. That's what they're for. It's for yeah. chill music. Alright, so, uh, welcome to Smash Chateau, obviously. Uh, so, this is like the interview portion. Normally, we just like interview people that like win or like did something outrageous or like improved. But we feel like a special opportunity. We had so many new people today, too. I guess that's like 40% of people that play, whatever. Anywho. Uh, we want to interview you, uh, see how your experience was. What did you think of the tournament? That was so distracting. Alright, it was good. It was good? I mean, obviously I didn't do very well. I mean, you had some wins. You didn't come in last. You didn't lose the broken hand. Yeah, right? that's true. That's true. Um, so, when you were playing, you played an assortment of characters. You played, like, some Kirby, you played Ness, you played all sorts of characters. Um, can you explain that a little bit? Like, what made you want to... Yeah, um, I realized that's not the best idea as far as, like, winning, but I just get bored if I play the same thing, so, I don't know. That's fair, I like that. Stay true to, like, have fun, you know, yeah. play the have fun, not the win. Um, so, let's see. So you play a lot of uh, Project M uh, at your place? Yeah. Alright, how, how much Project M would you say you played or have played? So far, like ever. Um, I started it like last ah. year, and I have played it pretty frequent, pretty frequently. Okay, alright, like that. Is this your uh, first Smash game, or have you played like Melee 64 or B Word? No, yeah. Hopefully not B Word. But uh, what game have you played? Yeah, I played some Smash like 
growing up just casually. So. Okay, all right, good, good. Oh, uh, so is this your first uh, tournament that you've ever been in? Or? Yeah. Oh wow. Okay, so first one ever. Wow. Okay. Um. So next week we're gonna have like double the people we have now. I really. Um. You feel like you perform better. You would perform better, worse, and not the same. Um, I think I have to fix some of my bad habits to be better. Gotcha. Gonna practice that before the next one? Okay, I'd like to hear that. So, um, because we only had like, what, five people here, uh, we played Project M, so it's obviously the crowd favorite. It's probably gonna be our main game uh, going forward. Uh, normally we play Melee, and as a new addition, we're gonna add 64 uh, by demand. Are you gonna enter any of those games? Um, I haven't really played either of those. No, no, no. Gotcha. So, probably not going to? Or? Probably not. Probably not? Okay, fair enough. Still gonna play Project Okay. okay. So, uh, there's a match in particular I'm thinking of. Uh, it was the first one against Ricky Rombo. I can't remember. You got the bracket? You got the bracket pulled out? Let's pull up that bracket. There's a game. I don't want to ask about because it was like peculiar. I can't remember which one. I'm just gonna get that pulled up here. Yeah, let me see this. Uh, or no, the pool. Sorry, the pool. Does that have a game? Sorry, stream. We're uh, let's see. So you are being cool. Play Millhouse. I'm pretty sure it was against Ricky Rob. What character did you play against Ricky Brown, though? Uh, yes. Ness. Okay, yeah, yeah, that was it. So, it seems like you were having a... You got it? You got it? No, we're good. Okay, it seems like you were having a... I'm not going to say difficulty, but there were some struggles going on with the up B with Ness. Oh, uh, yeah, the, the peanut. Hitting the light. Yeah, the peanut. Um, so, was there... Do you think there was any way you could have like, gotten around that, or... Um, anything different you could have done with Ness? I don't know. I mean, yeah. Not getting into that. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, so after having that happen, are you gonna pick Ness again? Or are you gonna try to uh, get away from Ness? Probably or? not against Diddy Kong. Yeah. Okay. Nice. All right. Um, so you play against Ricky Rombo a lot, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Would you say you know each other's play style? Because he calls you like, uh, like. I'm gonna say Azin, you might not know who Azin is, but Azin plays a buttload of characters and he just played them pretty well. Not like tournament caliber by any means, but he just plays a ton of characters well. And having that character like depth, being able to be versatile, really helped him become a great player. Do you think that um, if you stick with it, that you can reach that like same, not the same level of versatility, but do you think playing a whole bunch of characters will become an advantage for you? Yeah. Um, but right now I kind of play similarly, like just defensively with all the characters, so I kind of don't get that advantage. But gotcha. Um, so there are some more subtle, like technical aspects of the game, like uh, wave dashing, uh, yeah. L canceling. Are you familiar with those at all? Um, I'm familiar with them. I'm just not like able to do them. Okay. If you took some time to like, you know, practice and learn them, do you think you could get them down? How do I? Yeah, probably. Yeah, you probably got it. Okay. Well, we were glad to have you uh, at your first tournament pretty much ever. That's uh, an honor for us here at Smash Chateau. Uh, we're going to have one of these every week, as you know. Uh, will you be attending again next week? Maybe? If you have time? Uh, probably. Probably? Okay. Cool. Well, we will be glad to have you. Thank you for the interview. All right. Well, stream. Hope you enjoyed that. Let's, uh... Yeah, come sign off the folk. Holly Brass, I think I got it. Oh, that. So not important. Or Japanese. Not an H. Brash, that's wrong. Yeah, I got it. Oh, it's a G, isn't it? Brass. Okay. All right. So this is your boy Camtendo. Man, Holly Brass here. Um, well, we're thank you, thankful for having you guys watch. Uh, Smash Chateau. Chateau, yeah. Smash Chateau. Is this technically week two? Uh, well, three, two point five. Yeah, it's it stream number two. Stream yeah. number two. I had tournament to go. number two, week number three. Right. So next right. week, um, some big stuff that's gonna happen. Uh, Crunch Bang is gonna look for another person to sponsor. Um, Noah is gonna be Noah, I guess. Yeah. 
We're gonna have uh, a like double or a double and a half the people we have now. It's gonna be intense. We're bringing back the MLG people. That's three. Uh, a new player named Michael Moffett is gonna play. He plays Peach and Melee. He plays 64. He might play TM too. Um, he might bring a friend okay, that's probably. new to the scene. Like it um, It'll be a party. It's gonna it's gonna be a hoot and nanny, man. There'll be tons be of people. And, and Brandon should be back. Yeah, okay. and uh, just again to reiterate, not one, not two, but three, 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 whatever combination of three fingers you want. Tournaments going on. Three tournaments. It's gonna so, be so hard. Yeah. My beard is already tingling. <laughs> We're gonna get some TO help to get get that run correctly, you know, have people sign up uh, as early as possible. Mm. Uh, get all four setups. Uh, currently we only ran two because we only had two project right. setups. That was the bottom thing. So um, yeah, it's just gonna be hype. Just straight up hype. Just filthy. We'll be trying to stream as much of it as possible. Oh yes. Well, it's about that time. It's midnight and a half. It's about that time. Here in the CST. We're about ready to get hit by pink storms. Yeah. Which is not good. But first, I gotta play some Smash. I've been requested to play by Ricky Rombo. I haven't played Smash in a, in a bit. We played some today. I waxed people, you know. I played some uh, the Fox. Got one stock. Played Falco. Got a four stock. Or, I did not get one stock. I got a one stock. Played Falco. Got a four stock. Didn't touch Icy. Didn't touch Sheik. Not to toot my own horn, not to play the trumpet, not to play Reverie or anything, but, you know, we'll see, we'll see what happens when I get on these sticks, you know what I'm saying, we got, got them sticks, mm -hmm. yeah. Alright, so stream, holla at your boys, it's been good, we'll catch you next week. Alright, take care everyone. Ladies. <laughs>